Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a hair tutorial. I haven't done one of these in a while. This was very requested. I did this look, this crazy early 2000s Y2K vibe hairstyle a while back on my TikTok, my Instagram. No insert here, here for reference. If you don't follow me, you probably should. Go do it now, come back to the video. But I got so many comments of people asking me how to do this hair look and it honestly is so easy. It takes a little bit of time, but it's not as hard as it looks. I got inspired specifically from Kali Uchi's look that she did with this hairstylist Jesus hair. That's what inspired me and then I was like, I'm gonna do this tonight. I'm doing it tonight and I threw it together and it ended up working. It's not as hard as it seems. The early 2000s are coming back hard. So this is just the beginning, the first look that I tried. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I hope you learn something from it. If you end up doing it, send me a photo, tag me in it on Instagram. I don't know, I'd love to see it. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with some heat protectant, always. I'm always using the Orbe. They're the best. It looks super cute, smells good. You guys see it in pretty much every video. This is the Invisible Defense Universal Protection Spray. So I'm gonna just spray my whole head of hair. I'm just gonna brush my hair out, you know, the normal prep. I love looks like this that are slicked back and you can use a bunch of gel and hairspray in because they're perfect for bad hair days. You turn a bad hair day into a good one by doing a little slick look. If your hair is greasy, then it's no problem. And honestly, it kind of helps. My hair is not too bad though right now, but it's a nice little hack. So I'm just going to section off my hair into the top part that I'm gonna put up and then leave the rest down and we'll straighten it. So I'm just gonna take my fingers and go up with my hair like this. And I like to go at this angle just so there's more hair that is down. It just looks thicker down here. So just easily sectioning this off. It's funny that I'm doing a tutorial on this because this is the second time I've done this ever. The first time that I did it, I just kind of went for it and it ended up working and everyone loved it. I feel like this is also really good if you have bangs and you're trying to figure out how to style them in different ways. This would definitely help. The way my hair looks right now is giving me horrible flashbacks. If anyone remembers this look of when I had blonde hair and I would just do the half up, half down in the bun. Oh gosh, like when I see that, I hate it so much. I wonder if I'm gonna look back at this video and be like, oh my gosh, remember when I wore my hair like that? That was horrible. But trends always come back, so this is just a, an updated version. So I'm gonna take this bottom section of hair and then just straighten it, but flip it out. The straightener that I'm using is from GHD. This is the Platinum Plus. I got it because I heard it was the best and it also has this like curve around it, so I felt like I could flip it out or curl with it, so. So far I've been liking it. I think the best thing is, is that it heats up in like two seconds, so that's amazing. So I'm just gonna straighten my hair. I'm sure this would look cute with all textures of hair, whatever kind of style you wanna do, but this is what I did and I think it's cute. So we're just gonna go with the straight. But you guys know how early 2000s Y2K vibes are the big trend right now. So I've definitely been into trying out those looks. What do you guys think of that by the way? Because I feel like there's a level of bringing in the early 2000s Fashion now that is like too far like it's it's almost too much and it doesn't look great But then there's also a bunch of trends that look amazing and we've been loving and you've been seeing everywhere So would love to hear your guys' thoughts. I also just learned how to do my hair pretty recently So definitely not a professional at this But that's why I'm here to just show you how a normal girl can learn how to do these kind of looks Okay, so once we got it all smooth, I'm going to flip out the ends. If you section off your hair more, it probably will be a better even flip. But I did this in a rush the first time I did it and it worked out, it looked super cute. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna take the straightener and flip. So that's basically it for the bottom part. I'm telling you guys, this is way, way easier than it actually looks. I'm sure when professional hairstylists do this, it's a lot better and takes more time, but this is how we just, we just throw it up and make it work. 
So now we're moving on to this section. I honestly am feeling like this is a lot of hair. I might have to bring some down, but we'll get to that point when we get to it. So first I'm gonna separate where I want the part and the little bang to go, which usually when I do slick back looks like this with a part, I like to do it kind of dramatic. We'll go like right here. And then just kind of separate. Okay, so now we have this separated. We have our bang that we're going to style later, or maybe first, I guess we'll find out. And then we're gonna tie off this top section with a rubber band. I feel like it would be neater if you did individual sections instead of taking it from this one top part, but this just makes it easier for me and I think everyone else. Also, it makes sure that your hair stays up, it doesn't fall out. This is a lot more strong. You guys are familiar with this kind of setup. We're pulling as tight as we can to give us a little snatch moment on the face. That's a little glam hack there. And then I'm just gonna pin this to the side for right now while we work on the rest of the hair. So now I'm using the Got To Be Glued Blasting Freeze Spray. This stuff is insane, I love it. It's the go-to for the very, very snatched, sleek kind of look. It is hardcore. I definitely recommend it. You can get it at any drugstore. I use the gel sometimes too if I feel like I need it, but I feel like we're pretty snatched already without anything. I'm just gonna go straight in with the hairspray. I'm gonna spray it on here. You definitely want to sculpt this and brush it out and smooth it out as soon as possible after spraying it because it does dry fast and it dries very hard. Make sure you're paying attention to that. So I'm looking crazy putting my hair to the side like this, but we have to get this section as well. This one isn't as sharp of a line, as clean of a line. Of course you can do that, but it's gonna be kind of covered from the bang, so I am not caring like too much on this one. I'll also use brushes like these to really smooth and lift. Then I'm actually gonna take the hair tie out and redo it because sometimes when you slick it back, it bunches up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go back and tie it a bit tighter. Okay, so what I did with this was basically do whatever it looked like was happening there, which were a bunch of knots. So I'll take a section like this, for example, and we just kind of loop it through, make a knot here. I wanna keep the knots as close to the base of my head as possible, and then we'll just pin it into place, which you can't even see it right now. And just kind of pin it there. So now we have this little hair just like hanging out and we can get to styling that later. We obviously want to cover the hair tie, so we are going to take a piece in the front, tie it in a knot, and then pin again. So if you have longer hair, which I don't have very long hair, but these pieces right here are not short enough for me to just have sticking out like that how I want. So I will I guess double knot it. So after we already pin that knot, I'll just make another one. Then I guess you'll just keep going to make knots until your pieces are as short and stuck up like this. There we go. So that's basically the starting point of the look. And we're just gonna take from this main section of hair and just make these knots all over until we have a little fan of cute little hairs coming out. So what I think it helps is if you don't do the two knots to make it short for all the pieces at the beginning. That way, at the end, when you have them all pinned down, you can decide where you want the little hairs to be sticking out of. I definitely like to keep the base semi looking like a bun or not, and then the pieces coming out are just like extra and fun. But if you did want to spread it out a little bit farther, you can just make your knot all the way over here and then pin it over here if that's what is working out for your hair. All right, well, we got all of the knots made from the hair, and then now is when we're gonna go through and kind of just pin these extra hanging pieces to where we want them to sit. So for example, I'll take this one, and then I'll just do another knot, and I want this one to come out the center kind of right here. If you can see that, I'm just gonna pin it right here to make sure that it's uh, from the back. So then I'll even split one knot into two to add some more texture or specific 
pieces coming out. So I finished all of the knots in the pinning. There's probably like a hundred bobby pins in my hair right now, but it honestly conceals it. And if you even see the clips, it's kind of part of the look too. I bought these tiny, tiny claw clips that I thought would be cute for this kind of vibe too. So if you don't like the look of your bobby pin showing, you can always put these clips on top of them and that would be cute too. Also, it's crazy and messy, but that's the vibe. You can make it as neat as you want, as big of knots as you want, as little of knots, you know, do your thing. It's just kind of about being creative, having fun and just being funky and different. So when I have all these pieces out, now I'm just going to kind of spray them with the same hairspray so I can mold it a little bit better. And so it stays. This piece looks a little bit long, so, I will... so I'll just add another pin right there. I think the key to it is to not look too deep into it and just kind of throw it up because that's what worked for me and it's just kind of the vibe. You might have to respray some pieces here. Okay, and then I'm gonna work on this bang piece, which I'm also just going to flip out. Okay, so now we're gonna take this hair that we sectioned off for the bang and I'm gonna place it behind the ear and we'll spray. And some more bobby pins. I'm going to put that into place right here. Usually with the bang, I do all of this and then I have to take it back out like I did with the hair tie. Okay, so if you guys are not familiar with the aesthetic or the um, hairstyle, vibe, whatever it is. You might think I look crazy, but I think it's cute. I'm just going back through, making sure the final look has its perfect touches. And ta-da, here is your early 2000s. I feel like it's still kind of 90s. I feel like it's honestly very 90s. I think it goes well with the early 2000s aesthetic, but it is also like a 90s kind of hair look as well. Anyway, this is it. You guys requested it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's super cute and fun, and if you're wearing a funky outfit, it just adds a little extra fun touch. It's not very hard. It's a process, but it's not difficult. You're basically just pinning it however you want it to look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which one you want to see from me next. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.